going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers. In Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. And so we'll import Chinese-based CBDC technology. So it's going to be CBDC in a box uh, provided to you by the People's Bank of China. But every stock, every bond, every currency, every commodity, every piece of art, every private business, every piece of real estate will eventually be a token on a blockchain, an entry on a ledger, permanent and immutable. We will have truth instead of trust, and we will save over $7 trillion a year. Six to eight percent of global GDP is wasted by the friction of the trust industry that's necessary when you have dual entry accounting. With triple entry accounting, which is what a blockchain is, mm -hmm. we get rid of all of that friction. It's a beautiful future. Like what you see in China and their social credit scoring systems, right? If we get identity wrong, you know, it could be a tool to enslave humanity. And if we get it right, it could be a tool to liberate humanity as an American. You know, uh, uh, I'm obviously rooting for the, the one that's on the side of freedom. Bitcoin is an international asset. And also, I do believe the role of crypto is, um, it is, it, it, it's digitizing gold. I actually believe this technology is going to be very important. I am, I, you know, look at it. We have been part of the huge revolution in investing through ETFs. We believe that ETFs will be changing the whole way we invest. Many people still use it as a means, oh, people are investing it f for indexing. No, the majority of people who are putting money in an index, in an ETFs are active investors that are buying exposure. The entire bond market is being transformed as we talk right now. I believe the next generation for markets, the next generation for securities will be, will be tokenization of securities. Um, we will, and if we can have that distributed ledger that we know every beneficial owner, every beneficial uh, seller, we all have our, our, our code right. of who's buying, who's selling, instantaneous settlement. And think about it, it changes the whole ecosystem. Welcome, Welcome to the Crypto, crypto teacher. teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread it all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books Crypto Teacher and the New Road Auto Book. Remember, the New Road Order book shows you how the world really works, and it is definitely time for you to wake up out of that sleep, especially in the times that we're in right now. Now, guys, I told you in 2023, in the first quarter, we would get an event, and now we have the banking collapse, which the master magicians pulled off the perfect distraction. And at the end of the third quarter, going into the fourth quarter, guys, we're going to have another main event. Now, of course, the markets will still pump and dump until we get that next crisis. Guys, we know they're going to pull that rug. And all we have to do is watch the Fed to know exactly when that's about to happen. And also, guys, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids' books. It's time to re-educate. Also, much love to those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon. Much love. Keep it coming. Guys, if you're not a part of the Patreon, make sure you're donating to the channel through the actual Cash App. But guys, this next Bitcoin and crypto bull run is going to be a utility run. So you want to make sure you have the cryptos that have real utility. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. 
And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And right now, guys, we have Bitcoin, cryptos, and stocks overall flat. Don't forget we have options today. Now we have crypto exchange by bit to suspend UK operations next month. And what is that going to do, guys? That's right, lower volume even more. And with these EU rules going into effect, it's definitely going to hit crypto volume. And remember the crypto teacher told you. Now, guys, do not forget to pay attention to the actual indicators. We have yield rates, which are flat overall. We have the dollar up. We have volume and crypto down. And we have Tether and USDC. And we have Tether acquires a stake in Bitcoin miner Northern Data, hitting at AI collaboration. And basically, they purchased over 427 million worth of NVIDIA chips. So we see Tether setting up for the fourth industrial revolution. And then, of course, guys, we have the Fed. Repo sitting at $1.45 trillion. And guys, make sure you're pulling that on a daily basis. We know Janet Yellen is tapping that in order to put those federal retirement funds back. Now, over these next seven days, we're going to be on a roller coaster ride. We have strikes going on. We have the government shut down looming. And then in crypto, we have Bitcoin futures contracts ending. So we have a lot of geopolitical events that are going to affect the markets. So not only do you have to look at that and then also pay attention to the actual indicators. Now, guys, do not forget about Grayscale and about $21.9 billion. But getting over into a little crypto news, we have Binance's CZ asked the court to dismiss the SEC suit. And we know why the SEC bought the lawsuit against Binance. It's just more distractions to just keep kicking the regulation can down the road. Now we have PancakeSwap integrates Transact for fiat onboarding on multiple chains. And guys, we know interoperability is what the game is all about. Now we have Japanese exchange GMO to offer XRP users yen for delayed Songbird airdrop. And right now, that's not a bad deal. Now we have Google Cloud adds 11 new blockchains to BigQuery data analytics service. And in this digital transformation, data is everything. And that's the reason why these Google Clouds, Amazon, AWS, are becoming so important because actually they're centralizing these crypto projects. These clouds are going to hold all the data. Whoever controls the data controls the world. Now we have Silver Point and Diameter scoop up cheap FTX bankruptcy claims. Investors scooped up at least 250 million of FTX claims. And then lastly, guys, we have the bank man will remain in jail through the start of his trial. And guys, it's unbelievable that none of these reporters want to interview the bank man. But like I stated, the NWO would step up the movies, the distractions in the fourth quarter to distract the masses. Because guys, we know it's time to build. It's time to build this fourth industrial revolution. And by the time the sheep wake up, the machines will be here. And remember the crypto teacher told you, because he knows, when it comes to the NWO, it's all planned out. But that's all I have for you. Don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book, plus the three kids' books, it's time to re-educate. Also, new to cryptos, Coinbase, BitChu, Binance. Do not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The stock channel, guys. Don't forget to go like, subscribe, spread everywhere. You have your Kobo, your chip size, your banking, your gaming, while everybody's sitting at home get on stocks, the receiver of the biotech stocks, and while everybody's at home wishing, they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks, and you have a wonderful day. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know, I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity 
to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis, whether it's your job, whether it's in your community. We have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share, but this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Yahshua and Grandma Tim save the village. Part 2. King Yahshua and Grandma Tim save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3. King Yahshua and Grandma Tim goes to China. It's mandatory to get Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3 of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.